I'm joined today with Major Bond Jennings from the Lloydminster Salvation Army. Thanks for taking some time to talk with me today. You're quite welcome. So today I wanted to talk about uh, the Christmas Kettle campaign that's going to be starting up soon. For people who don't know that much about it, just tell me a little bit about the Christmas Kettle campaign. It's uh, for the Salvation Army. It's uh, probably for the local ministry units in communities. It's the major fundraising campaign of, of the Salvation Army for the year. It's, it's a campaign that started in 1891 in San Francisco. Uh, a Salvation Army officer there felt the need to help people and he started with putting out like a red pot uh, to collect money. And in 1903, it uh, started in Canada, in Toronto. So it's been going on now for almost uh, 130 years. And like I say, it's our major fundraising campaign for the year. It not only helps us to provide for families at Christmas, but it also provides uh, necessary finances to help us get through the rest of the year. So for this year's campaign, when is it going to start and where will the kettles be located here in the city? We're, we're starting on the 21st of November. Uh, and they're located at uh, Sobeys, Walmart, uh, Safeway, the Lloyd Mall, Superstore, and the Co-op Store. And uh, because of COVID, like most every other business and organization, uh, we've made some changes. We're only doing six hours a day at most locations from... from Until here's with the public, and you know we're we're taking the necessary precautions to uh, to have available for our volunteers mask, gloves, and sanitizer wipes to wipe down the machines and and the necessary things to make sure everybody is 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 safe. So, for people who don't have uh, just spare coins and cash in their pocket, are they still able to donate? Yes, we're going to have debit machines at each location, but also this year we have a tip and tap machines that will be located where people have an option of three different amounts, five, 10 or $20 that they can just tap their cards and uh, donate that way. So there won't be as much uh, coin and, and cash flow if, if people want to do it that way. Uh, obviously, this year with the pandemic going on, uh, it posed some challenges for you guys just having to adjust some of the ways that you do the kettle program. Uh, are you expecting maybe more of a demand from people needing uh, support from the Salvation Army this year? Yes, we are. We, we did 450 hampers last year. We prepared 450. We didn't give them all out, but we, it was close. Uh, this year, we're doubling that amount. We're, we're going to be preparing for 900. Uh, whether we get those numbers or not, uh, it'll, we'll still have the ampers to give out to people after Christmas, but we are preparing for 900. Uh, we are seeing roughly five to 10 uh, new families, individuals per week. So we're, we're thinking because of that, yeah, we, we need to be ready. And so we're, we're getting things ready for that. Uh, does the Salvation Army need any more volunteers during this time? Well, especially for the, our kettles, we certainly will need volunteers. We don't know how uh, the previous year's volunteers will, will want to face mm -hmm. the doing that out in public. Uh, so we're, we're certainly going to be needed, even though we're cutting down our number of hours from 10 to six hours a day, we, we will probably need more volunteers. Here at the food bank at our church, we're limiting the numbers of people in our building. We're, we're, we're trying to make sure that we're kept safe so that we can continue on with helping people because if any of us get sick, we probably gonna to have to close our doors for a few days and we don't want that to happen. Yeah, for sure. So we're limiting the numbers of people coming into our building. 
So a lot of our staff are doing what uh, we had volunteers doing previous years because of that. But for the cattle piece, we certainly do need people that are willing to take a, we, we try to do a two hour shift. So at, at each location, so. And is there anything else that you want to add that we didn't get to talk about yet? Uh, our goal for this year is uh, 65,000. Last year it was 57. And last year we did $85,000. We went well over our goal. Uh, the community of Lloyd Minister and area uh, were very supportive of, uh, of us as they have been ever since uh, last Christmas through COVID, this, this community has been wonderful in their support of us and organizations, individuals, groups are still coming to our door bringing uh, donations. So it's, it's been fantastic. And I just want, want to say a big thank you. It, it hardly seems to be enough to say, but thank you to the community of Lloyd Minister uh, the businesses, the organizations, and and the people of Lloydminster for their support through uh, 2020. It's it's been great. So, just thank you. All right. Thanks so much, uh, Major Bond Jennings, for taking some time to talk with me today. You're quite welcome. Thank you for having me.